In this one, we're going to get our SSL PLS certificate so that we can put our vault endpoint behind HTTPS. Now, don't worry, this uh, really isn't bad at all since we'll be using AWS Certificate Manager. Uh, as mentioned in the prerequisites though, you do need to go ahead and have a domain name purchased and ready to be used. Uh, beyond that, you just need the ability to add DNS records, which is a, a default feature in pretty much every domain registrar that I've ever even heard of. Um, I'll be using Route 53 on AWS to manage my DNS records, but again, you can use any registrar. All right, so I am over here in the AWS console in my account. And the first thing you need to do before anything else, well, aside from having that domain name, is you need to make sure you are in US East 1, so North Virginia. Or, or if you're an advanced AWS user and you know what you're doing, uh, whichever region you've been setting everything else up in. Uh, but for me, at least, and for the purpose of the series, I'm keeping everything in US East 1. Now, the next thing that we need to do is, well, you need to have your, you need to have your, uh, your domain name, uh, but just to show you mine, so I'm going to go to root 53, which is the domain name, the domain name registrar and their DNS service. So uh, once we get here, we can see that I already have one set up for a domain called hatrackapp.io, one of my uh, many project failures. <laughs> and uh, we can see in here inside hosted zones, this is gonna give me the ability to create various records like C names or, you know, or SOA records or text records. So you need to have access to that, but beyond that, you don't really need anything else. So anyhow, uh, you don't need to have this here. I'm just pointing this out to know that you need to be able to make these DNS records in whatever domain name registrar that you're working with, whether it's uh, Namecheap or GoDaddy for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, um, let's head back to the main page here. And so to create our certificate, we are going to look for something called Certificate Manager. There we go. Click on it. And this is extremely painless. Uh, what we're going to do here is, uh, aside from the fact that these are very confusing two options here, <laughs> we're going to click on the left one, so uh, the, under provision certificates, and if you've made more certificates, you're just going to click on the request uh, certificate that'll be up around here uh, if you've made some before. So I'm going to click on click uh, create certificate here, or provision certificate, and we're going to request a public certificate and then go through request the certificate. And in here, you're going to request the certificate for your domain name. Now, um, as far as these certificates, we are going to get one just for a subdomain. So for mine, it's hatrackapp.io, but I wanna get a certificate for secrets.hatrackapp.io. Now, if you don't know what's going on with domain names, if you don't understand subdomains or anything else like that, uh, just, just take whatever domain you have and just add secrets in front of it. Um, if you do, well, then obviously you can do whatever you want. Um, I would not suggest using a wildcard, so don't come over here and just do this. Uh, even though that'll give you a lot more flexibility, um, just, just stick with one, just especially for something that deals with security. Anyhow, so I've got that done and I'm gonna click next. And then it's going to ask me about validation. So validation is just going to, it's just their way of saying, okay, now prove to us that you are indeed the owner of this domain. And there's two ways you can do it. DNS validation and email validation. Um, DNS validation, if you are using Route 53 uh, to, manage your, to manage your domain, um, this is going to be way, way faster. However, uh, if you are using another service, so like something like Namecheap, this can take a while. <laughs> they say up to an hour, but I've seen it take days. So if, yeah, if you're on something like Namecheap or any of those other different registrars, I would actually go with email validation. If you go with email validation, it is going to send a confirmation email um, to whatever email you, you have registered with the who is. Um, and it'll just have a button in, or a link inside that you click on that'll take you to a page that you just click on, I accept, and you'll be done with it. Um, however, if you wanna use DNS validation no matter what, the whole process here is that it's going to give you a record. So like it's going to give you, so for example, a CNAME record, right? And it's going to want you to take that and put it in your DNS records. Uh, and by doing so, you prove that you are indeed the owner. Now, I'm going to do this because since I'm using Route 53, this is really fast. But email validation, if you're not on Route 53, again, is much, 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 much faster. Otherwise, you might just be waiting for like days. Anyhow, I'm going to click Next. And you can add tags to this. I'm not going to add any. I'm going to review it. Yep, that is the right 
Yes, that is indeed the right domain. Make sure you pick the right domain and I am going to use the DNS validation and click confirm and request. Now, once this is done, you are gonna have some waiting to do. Uh, if you pick email, probably not too much. It should get right to you. Um, but if you're doing DNS, here's what I'm talking about. So if you're on Namecheap, for example, you're gonna need to go into your domain, manage it, go to advanced DNS. You're going to create a CNAME type record for host. You're gonna drop this right into there. And for the value, you're going to use this. And then you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait for root 53 um, to ping uh, the names servers there and uh, get these records. But if you're on Route 53, you don't have to do anything other than click this button. And I'm going to click this button, create it, and it's going to actually go and make that record. Let's go see that. So I'm just going to open that up here in another tab. And if I go into my hatrackapp.io hosted zone, you can do it. Okay, so once I'm in it here, we will see that it has indeed added that record. And if I come over here, now I've just got to wait. So I'm gonna click continue and refresh. And this is going to take a little bit for it to come back and um, go to an accepted status. So you're waiting for this to, for this to go from pending, validate, pending validation to accept it. So I'll resume the video once it's done. All right, so mine has finally been uh, completed here, and I forgot that it's the status is called issued, not accepted. So once you get the green light here and your status is issued, you've got everything you need. The certificate is ready to be used, and you don't actually have to do anything else. Uh, once we go and we deploy our project, we'll just tell it about the name, and it'll actually go pull the certificate for us and use it.